Uh, so I got myself a car battery. It's charged by my solar panel. And now I have a wire that connects to my battery, which is just over there in the window. There's two of them, I hope you can see. Yep, and there is. And, uh, and so I've got some power here on my bench. Um, this thing is 10 amps. It will display on the current there. And it will go to 100 volt or something. I'm not really that interested in that. I just want it for the, the battery. A couple of batteries on the on the windows on the windows over there. Now, at the back of this, I don't know if you can see just down the back there. This is a, a fuse holder. There's a, an 8.4 amp fuse in there. Well, there's not actually a fuse. There's a piece of uh, 15 gauge wire. Um, which is actually uh, magnet wire and I've uh, sanded off and rounded the ends to make it fit as a fuse would and that's all good I hope um, for the maximum input for the actual display of this to make it light up it says it's 12 volts it needs a separate supply because if you go above 12 volts you can burn out the LEDs. Uh, let me shift that out of the way. Uh, so what I've done is I've just put a... Uh, I think it was a, uh, a 220 ohm uh, 1 watt resistor and a 56 ohm in series with it a uh, half watt resistor because I didn't feel that it actually needed to have a big ass resistor so much but I didn't have anything else to make up um, you know just buy a couple of resistors or one it would have been nice uh, to stop those from burning out so that is actually connected you know just onto the same connection as this just got a, just got a resistor so ad adequately safe sort of I don't have a 20 amp fuse coming out of my charge controller at the moment, I'm going to get one, an inline fuse, but my charge controller has short circuit protection and all sorts, um, which just means if I do a short circuit across here, it will just switch off the output, and when I remove it, it just switches it back on again. I don't really want to sit here uh, testing it, but I'm sure if you watch enough of these, you're going to, you're going to see me do that at some stage anyway. So, I think mean, from that point, I've built in a switch before it then outputs to this connector block. So there's a little indicator on the switch so I know that it's on. Uh, and as you can probably see that actually has a load on the system because the, the amperage has gone up there. So let me just switch that back off again for a minute. And of course the other problem is with 12 volts is it's well it's only 12 volts isn't it? So if I were to well, let's say a uh, LM317 regulator on there, so I've got some variable output here. Um, I'm only going to be getting about 8, let's say 8.5 to 9 volts, you know, with a bit of load on there. Um, not very good at all, so I need to I need to take that voltage up a little bit. Well, I tried building my own boost converter, and well, it's my first one, not so very clever. But for £1.69, I think it was £1.69 or £1.67 possibly. I bought this little baby. This is a uh, 100 watt um, boost converter. So you put. I can't remember. I need to probably play around with. I should have put it probably on my power supply first and see exactly how low it is you can go. But well, basically, it, it serves its purposes for me. Um, because I put the 12.7 volts in, I'm not going to run my batteries on 11 and 12.5. I think my charge controller turns off at 12.5. If it doesn't, I want it to. Um, and it does take that up, and it takes it quite nicely up to 35 volts. That's all for this one. It's not a. It's not one of the, the big 60 volt jobbies. Um, but it does mean that it gives me some flexibility on that battery power. 
I can take it up. Which is great. But then of course I need to, to take that back down again. Um, and so for that, I got this. And this is a 10 amp, let me try and just adjust the light a bit. That's a 10 amp step down converter which is connected into that uh, step up converter. So I can step the power up. And I can do this cleverly as well. If I know I'm only going to be running a, a few, few volts, but I don't need to be stepping it up to 35 volts, do I? And then trying to step that down. I can uh, pretty much just have 15 volts coming out of that and step it down. Or even you know, 13 volts, I need to do some load testing to see where it starts stepping out of regulation. But to help me out, um, I've also attached a display to this. So this display here tells me what's coming out of this. Okay, and then this, just for the sake of just playing around for a minute, I've got another display sticking out here, and here's a load. So if I want to switch this on now, I'll just flip the power, and there we go. I've got the display at the back telling me exactly what I'm taking from the main supply, which is uh, 40 milliamps. This is telling me um, what this and the rest of the circuit is taking, which includes, of course, the power for the LEDs, and so that includes the power, the one at the back, for this one, for this one, and for this, and for the circuitry here, which isn't really a great deal um, when I consider that my other power supply, uh, which is linear, this one. That takes 25 watts just sitting there with the power button switched on. 25 watts. Now when you think about it in your battery terms and solar panel terms, that's a lot. When you think about it in your general house terms, and that may not seem such a lot, but I like to think of things like, you know, from the solar panel point of view and uh, harvesting from, you know, from what's been given to us. Is it Cosmos? Whatever. Uh, so yeah. So uh, there's my little LED. And I'll tell you something I noticed about this as well. You watch this look. I'm going to switch off now. Switch off. And you count seconds for the LED. It's not a lot, but still. One, two, three, two. <laughs> now I know that LED's not really doing a lot like that. I can turn that up. I've got 20 volts here, so the maximum I can go to um, coming out of here is going to be well, just under 20 volts, I suppose. I got a 200, uh, 220 ohm, I think it's a 1 watt or 2 watt resistor though. So let's turn it up. This is going to get bright. If I put the right end of my thing on. Uh, maybe I should put something over that actually. Let's put this little tiny circuit I've built for, for my uh, for my power supply that I'm building. That little circuit is to actually run one of these uh, directly from the mains, the display for one of these meters that's going to be built into my lamp. So I thought you can see that there. Look. Going to 9 volts to 12 volts, which is where its normal working voltage for this LED would be 12 volts maximum. Now it says I'm only drawing 10 milliamps, but look if you see the one at the back, look that's got up to 7, one in the middle is on 4, it's got up to 15 volts. It's like happy with my turn of the totally bit. So, I reckon it's 20 milliamps. It could be anywhere between 20 and 30. I don't know how accurate that is. The middle one says 5. And the one at the back is just flashed on between 9 and 10. And of course, 
there's going to be conversion power that's being used as well, isn't there, all the time, but it's still going to be more efficient than my, uh, my linear supply over there. But of course there's going to be noise come with this, but I've had a thought about that as well. Because for the smaller circuits uh, that I play with, the noise, and I need to really think about how I'm going to do this, but I know that I'm going to have power come out of here, and it's going to go on to a LM338. No? LM338, yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's what it is, yeah, 338. And I'm going to have two LM338s. One of them is going to control current, and the other one is going to be the output for the uh, uh, volt the voltage. And so I can use that up to around about 8.5, 9 volts. But that will be nice and clean, direct from the batteries. DC, ah, oh, and again I say that, you know, it's not going to be that clean, is it? I've got a charge controller sat in the middle. Oh, why is everything so difficult? I can't anything just be plain sailing. Right, I'm gonna turn that down because I just wanted to I'm showing off. I've just been sat here prattling around a little bit. I was building an FM radio earlier and I've got sound out of it, I've got amplification, but all I got is hiss and it's just driving me nuts. So I just I saw these and I thought, oh right, I need to just throw them together somehow, so let's put them together for a bit of fun. Um Yeah, so <laughs> cheers for watching guys. Bye.